Hi, today's subject is hair and the mature female. One of my friends got tired of years of hair doing after she retired. She simply let her hair grow month after month and now wears a cute permanent ponytail. Another friend got off the expensive touch-up wagon. She simply let her hair go completely white. The transition was somewhat awkward, but now her bright white hair is stunning. Me? I'm trying to keep up. I'm descended from German, so my hair color has always been okay. Light blonde to darker blonde. But the texture is not good. I've hated my thin hair since I was a youngster. But I wish now I had all the hair I had then. To add texture and curl, I get permanents, which we all know aren't permanent at all, and cause me in terms of cost to give up an afternoon or two on the penny slots. I've tried a series of hair thickening shampoos, which do seem to sort of add bulk, but not much. I still must add mousse and hairspray so that the thin strands have some degree of perkiness and don't go bye-bye in the wind. My husband likes me with the most hair I can muster at this age. That means longer short hair, which he thinks looks youthful. However, that longer hair without the goop that holds it high looks like hell in the morning. So, when I can't stand the morning look, I get a haircut. Invariably, my husband sees the short hair and then says something akin to, ooh. I have a couple wigs which can defer the ooh. However, when I wear a wig out in public, I get a, gee, I love your hair today comment. And that makes me depressed. The wig hair is some sort of plastic that looks like hair thick hair. And I had nothing to do with the look, except having a credit card with breathing room. How bad does my real hair look, I'm thinking. My brothers have thin blonde hair like mine and it's creeping slowly backwards. So I guess I should get over my vanity and simply be grateful I still have hair. Now, would you like to hear about my fingernails? Probably not. <laughs> See you next time.